How's it going, guys? It is 3.57 a.m. July 10th, Sunday here in Japan, and we have a past-level question for pharmacology for step one. Not dramatic, not complicated, not going to be a lengthy clip. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L, man underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel down below. Now let's start the clip. 59-year-old man, two-day history of swelling of his left big toe. Physical exam shows several gouty tophi over the elbows bilaterally. Serum creatinine is 1.2 milligrams per deciliter. Normal range 0 0.7 to 1.2. Question asks, the most appropriate pharmacologic therapy to reduce frequency of episodes of this patient's condition has which of the following mechanisms of action? So let's just whip through the answer choices here. Choice A, decreased synthesis of prostaglandin. Wrong fucking answer. Obviously, this refers to indomethacin and NSAID, okay, and uh, inhibits cyclooxygenase, prostaglandin synthesis. Although, yes, that's the standard treatment for acute gout, and this patient does present with acute gout. It's not the answer in this case because questions asking to reduce frequency of episodes. So we're looking for a chronic gout treatment. Wrong fucking answer. Choice B, disruption of microtubule assembly. Wrong answer. This refers to colchicine. Colchicine is, an, is a definite correct answer for acute gout. If the question tells you that patient has an allergy to NSAIDs, which in that case we wouldn't give indomethacin, or if they just don't list indomethacin. Okay, so I've seen it as an answer in one of the NBME exams, but they tell you that there was an allergy to indomethacin. Wrong fucking answer. Choice C, disruption of microtubule disassembly. Wrong answer. This is nothing in relation to gout. This refers to paclitaxel, doclitaxel, the taxanes, which are actually chemotherapy. When we talk about our microtubule drugs, high yield for step one, for the microtubule assembly disruption, colchicine, as I just said, also mebendazole or albendazole, not azoles for fungi, bendazoles, which are anti-helminth agents, normally nematodes. Also, uh, griseofulvin uh, for antifungal treatment, as well as vincristine and vinblastine. Okay, but the taxanes, doclitaxel, uh, paclitaxel, those are the uh, inhibition of microtubule disassembly. Wrong fucking answer. Choice D, enhanced urinary excretion of organic acid. Wrong answer. This refers to probenicid, okay? And probenicid, although this can be used for chronic gout to decrease recurrence, it's not the first line agent. And the reason, so probenicid, it's a uric oseric. It inhibits oat organic anion transporter in the PCT and also proximal straight tubule, which is going to increase uh, urinary excretion of uric acid, which is an organic acid, and also tangentially prevents the excretion of beta-lactams. It's an old school agent that if given in combination with the beta-lactam can maintain serum levels. They've asked that on USMLA, okay? So, but it's not the first line agent for chronic gout because increased concentration slash excretion of uric acid within the renal tubules increases the chance of forming uric acid stones, okay? So not only uh, is the drug contraindicated in patients with history of uric acid, urolithiasis, but also, as I just fucking said, because of increased propensity to form those stones in the first place, it's not our first line chronic gout agent. Wrong fucking answer. Choice E, inhibition of oxidation. Nebulous answer, but correct, okay? Xanthine oxidase inhibition. OMG, holy shit, okay? I mean, it's what USMLE does sometimes. They try to be... Uh, nebulous and strange about things. But xanthine oxidase inhibitor, allopurinol or febuxostat, these are the classic first-line agents for chronic gout, okay? Th this is what's going to decrease recurrence of episodes. So yes, in this case, in this guy, if we asked for the most appropriate immediate pharmacologic treatment, it would have been indomethacin, choice A. But in this case, because we're decreasing frequency of episodes, what do we give him after we treat the acute gout? Now he's going home. What do we give him to prevent recurrence of episodes? The answer is a xanthine oxidase inhibitor, allopurinol, or febuxostat. You know the deal. I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.